welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going into the casino. Yes, the casino. No, <laughs> not the casino again. Well, actually, I won't have to do the uh, actual pinball things, but I do have to hit this button. Uh, I have to do it manually by flying up to that button there. Yeah. And then the casino opens. Now it's going to be another race against Sonic, just like the last part. This is Stage 2, Casinopolis. But we're going to be racing in the sewers! The best part of the whole dang stage, thank God. So i got to find the Emerald before Sonic can uh, blow up those enemies with the bomb. Yeah, if you ever get a bomb power-up, as I said, it, it destroys all the enemies on the screen. And woo, go up the fan of garbage! Oh, this can't be sanitary. What the heck is up with the camera? Jesus. Poopy, poopy. No, not the actual camera, camera. Oh, poopers! What the heck happened there? I blame the game's camera, not my camera. This camera is working pretty well. Well, except on Dark Sea, but I've already explained that before. Look how far ahead Sonic is. Dang it, I have a lot of catching up to do. Hopefully I won't lose, too. But Sonic isn't really the best racer, in my opinion, so yeah. As a matter of fact, he's, it looks like he's getting stuck by something. Um, I don't know what the heck he's getting stuck by. It sounds like he's spinning himself into the wall or something. Uh, I don't know, maybe Sonic's smoking crack or something, and that's just how he sounds when he's breathing in. But, I mean, it, it just seemed like it. I mean, he wasn't doing anything. He was just, like, sitting in one spot or something. Well, anyway, there's the Emerald. Okay, that was kind of easy. Ooh, my shield glows. It's so pretty. Ooh, yeah, that's just a regular shield, by the way, not a lightning shield or anything like that. And that was the stage. As I've explained before, Tales of Stages are a lot shorter than Sonic's. And thank God, Casinoopolis was shorter. Oh, I don't like being in that place. <laughs> it's so boring. Well, anyway... Oh no! Guess what's gonna happen? Knockout gas time! I already, oh dang it, I ruined it. Spoiler alert! No, nah, actually it wasn't if you've seen the other parts. Oh no! Walk faster, Tails! Why the heck do they go so slow when they run towards those emeralds? Uh, both Sonic and Tails like leisurely trotted over to that emerald. I mean, come on, you know they can run faster than that. <sighs> It's just like these cutscenes are just, uh, just throws plot holes into everything. And that's not what cutscenes are supposed to do. They're supposed to explain things. Uh, and now we wake up. Uh, Sonic, what happened to the Chaos Emerald? It was taken. Don't you remember? It happened in Sonic's story. I put the other one safe. Oh, thank goodness. We must be getting desperate. Obviously. Now the Emerald count is two to one and Eggman's winning. Let's get a move on. Yeah, we probably should. Anyway, you know where that ice key is, as I showed you before. By the way, did you see that thing flying in the background? That was cream. Someone, a couple other people mentioned that to me. I always wondered what the heck that was before, but I never mentioned it because I didn't know what it was. I just seen something flying over there. I thought it was just something else. I don't know, like a bird or something like that. But that was cream the rabbit from um, the Sonic Advance series, where she originated from. Um, she was put in here as like an Easter egg to direct the player where to go if they don't know where to go. Like, a lot of people don't recognize that alley because they never seen that alley before when they played this game their first time. So they don't know where the heck that ice key is. So some people run around for hours looking for that ice key, but now that they put cream there, if someone else, if someone notices... Where, uh, you know where Cream is, then they'll see, hey, we gotta go see what the heck is up over there. Where did Cream come from? It looks like she came from some place between some buildings, and yeah, you get the idea. And so she's like your guide in this game if you uh, uh, if ever get lost. You just gotta kind of look around for Cream, like in cutscenes and stuff like that. She's just there to guide you. Uh, yeah. So anyway, you know where the um, ice cap zone is. Just go up here. Um, the, as I said, Tales of Stages are a lot shorter. So this is going to take me directly to the ice cap snowboard race. Yes, the snowboard race. Not the actual stage stage part. Well, it's it's still a part of the stage, but you know what I mean. It's not the whole stage. It's just a snowboard race. And, uh, yeah, stage three, ice cap zone. Well, it's stage three for tails. Let's go snowboarding! Woo! And we got the worst camera angle in the world once again. 
we will never get caught by that avalanche because for some reason that I don't think you can get caught by the avalanche. It's all just smoke and mirrors basically. It's just show. I've never gotten caught by the avalanche before. And I'm not even sure if you can, as I said. So yeah, now we're racing Sonic on snowboard. Whee! Look at me go. And uh, Tail does have an exclusive stage, I believe, and ball. No, no, yeah. No, well, no, wait, I, I, I won't spoil anything, actually, so I, I'll just go through the stages. But then again, I did kind of spoil something just by saying that he has an exclusive stage, but I won't go any further than that. But otherwise, most of Tails' stages are basically the same as Sonic's, uh, but you're racing him. So it's a little bit different because you're pressured to get there within a certain time limit, and that time limit is Sonic himself. So, uh, yeah, we're snowboarding, there's some trees, there's some more trees, all those trees look exactly the same, I wonder why? Uh, it, it looks like they use the same sprite for all those trees, huh, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, anyway, I'm going to see if I can take the shortcut with Tails this time instead, yeah, there we go, I missed making that shortcut with Sonic the first time I played the stage, so I thought I would show it off as Tails since I'm going through here again. So we're snowboarding, we're riding rad, we're all over the place also. It's, it's kind of hard to control, like, if, you know, your exact distance because of all those bumps on the ground. It just kind of knocks you off in different directions you don't want to be. Uh, like, I would prefer to go along that top path there, but it didn't quite work out so well. As I said before, that, that upper path is a shortcut way if you jump off those ramps with the A button. So that would be your most ideal route if you were to go. And, uh, yeah, of course I won. Who would have guessed? There's Sonic, and he took forever and a half to reach me. Supposedly, for the fastest thing alive, Tails is faster than him. So I guess Tails, to Tails, took, Tails took over that rank or something like that. So, uh, yeah, 18 emblems now. I, I don't know why I even said that, because I'm not really collecting emblems. I'm just going through the stages in the adventure mode for fun. And we're back outside the Mystic Ruins. Now... I kind of forgot where I'm supposed to go from here. Am I supposed to go, like, am I supposed to go to the right? Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot. No, definitely not this way. Uh, yeah, so let's go find out where I'm supposed to go. As I said, I haven't been to the game in a while, but I do know the stages pretty well. Like, I used to time trial the stages a ton, so I, I really know those like the back of my hand. But the actual adventure portion of the game, I'm not so sure at. You know, I, I, sometimes I'm going to get lost with things, but eh, oh well, it happens. So I'm just going to go to Station Square and touch that sparkly bubble thing and see where the heck I'm supposed to go. Unless a cutscene is going to happen, like, right away when I exit this building or something, and then it'll tell me automatically. Like, for all I know, I might be going to the right place. Who knows? Let's touch this thing. No! The Mystic Ruins! Dang it! I probably have to face off against Chaos 4 or something like that at this point. Um, because at around this point in the game, I believe Sonic would be facing Chaos 4. So, yeah, as I said, this, these stories are basically um, a tie-in to each other, so they all follow the same time timeline. <clears throat> like, let's go over here, and Sonic should be facing Knuckles, or should be ending his conflict with Knuckles. Holy poopers! Not me, Tails! I mean, not not me, Knuckles. What am I saying? Not me, Tail. I'm not. I'm going nuts. What can I say? Oh, I guess Tail fights Knuckles, the easiest boss ever. Uh, yeah, apparently so. So I'll just uh, yeah, do one of those things. And I, I would like to point out just how expressionless Knuckles is when he takes a hit. Just listen to this. Just just wait for him to. Did you hear that? It's just like, oh no, I, I took a hit, oh no, I'm in pain, I'm bleeding, oh no. Oh no, the ammo! Yeah, I, I don't know why, it, it, just, it just sounds so awkward when he says that, oh no. I mean, I've done better oh no's in my walkthroughs. They should pay me to be Knuckles' voice actor. I could be doing, oh no, or something like that. 
Well, anyway, he's got four emeralds. Hey, those are... Yeah, chaos emeralds. Not what you're looking for, which I'm not going to explain at this point because I'm not doing Knuckles' story. Don't want to spoil things, and I recommend you don't do so in the comments either for other people's sake. That would be very nice of you. <laughs> Sorry, Knuckles. You've been tricked since Sonic the Hedgehog 3 when you teamed up with Eggman. Well, Robotnik at the time. Well, that was a new line. Oh no, not chaos! Not him again. And he looks like he has another emerald in him already. Chaos looks like he gets wet just eating those emeralds. Oh, okay, that was a bad reference there. <laughs> It already happened, Tails. Oh, it's like all these Sonic characters smoke crack or something like that, along with Mario and Yoshi. Well, anyway, it's Chaos 4. Um, this version of Chaos 4, he doesn't take as many hits as he does on Sonic's side of the story, but he has the same moves and stuff like that. Um, what's awkward about hitting him with Tails, though, is that you kind of have to fly into him like that. Um, so you gotta have, like, control over your height to fly really low towards the ground without touching the water, otherwise you'll lose your flight. So, yeah, whoops, you just knocked off my lily pad there. Oh, well. Hey, wait, where'd you go? And there we go. Woo! Uh, so, yeah, it's, as I said, basically the same fight, only the controls are different because you're playing as Tails, and you have to hit them slightly differently. But he's vulnerable at exactly the same time as he was before. And that same time is when he pops his head out of the water just like that. Yeah. You know, you know what I always find funny about bosses is that they always, always expose their weakness or they keep shooting out the things that they're weak against. Like Chaos 6 had those ice things that I threw in his mouth. But it's, it's like they never learn from their mistakes. It's like, hey, I took a hit from this, so I'm just going to do it again. So, so I'll give him another chance to hit me, you know, because that makes a whole lot of sense. And it's going to shoot two lasers, or not laser beam shockwaves, but yeah, you get the idea of what I'm saying there. I mean, uh, yeah, it's, yeah see, I'm, I'm just going to pop my head out of the water so I can take a hit like that. And yeah, why, why not? I like taking hits. I, I like taking it up the butt. I mean, it's just, it's just what I like doing as a boss. So anyway, that's the end of Chaos 4 with Tails, and a little cutscene will happen. You recognize this cutscene, I think. <gasps> the Egg Carrier! <laughs> no! People are going to complain about the camera. No! <laughs> I just had to pick fun at that. Loading! No! Poopers! That's my own sound effect. That's copyrighted. No, not the one from the ship. My own sound effect for my own voice. Well, the sound effects from the ship was copyrighted by Sega, you know. All rights reserved and stuff like that. But I mean, my voice is copyrighted. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking around. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Yeah, we'll do this. Obviously, Knuckles is incapable of wiping himself because we had the... Yeah, whatever. Anyway, that does it for this part. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Doodoo!